What's up, everybody? Coach Marty P. Hill, Sweet Science Fitness Boxing Club. Let me tell you the cautionary tale to all you boxers at home, the tale of the fighter and the coach. I'm gonna give it to you really real here. Boxers, boxers, make sure that whoever you're boxing with and whoever you're coaching with, that you respect, understand. A coach's job is not to tell you what you wanna hear, but what you need to hear. Let me make sure I repeat myself and tell this to you again. A good coach tells you what you need to hear, not what you wanna hear. A good coach's job is to not be your cheerleader, and especially in the sport of boxing, not supposed to pat you on the back and make you feel good about everything that you do. A real good boxing coach is supposed to tell you all the good things that you do, but also correct and make sure you're fixing the wrong things that you're not doing because those things can get you hurt, injured, and in our sport can even lead to life and death. So make sure that the coaches that you're dealing with that are in your corner are not just telling you what you wanna hear, but what you need to hear. We just had a, a fighter here recently that was in my gym that you know didn't enjoy me telling him what he needed to hear after we had moved him up to two and oh, got him two fights, got him two wins. You know, we're, we're on him about what he needed to been doing, what he, what he, what he, how he needed to been doing it but he preferred to go somewhere else and, and get information from someone else that he felt was better suited to what he needed, which was he didn't want to be told what to do. He wanted a cheerleader. And guess what happened to him in his very next fight? He just got knocked out. So again, make sure that the people that you're dealing with aren't just telling you what you want to hear. Make sure they're telling you what you need to hear because it could be very detrimental in your boxing career. Coach Hill, Sweet Science Boxing Club.